Lindsay Burns, and I'm really excited to help raise awareness about thoroughbreds and how great they can be on and off the track. I started riding back in 98 and did endurance, and then I started taking lessons at an English barn and fell in love with jumping. I've been jumping ever since, haven't taken a break of riding since I started. And I even went back east and rode for a while when I finished with high school. I've competed prelim and have since been riding babies and young horses and green ones. I also gallop and groom at the track. racetrack here in Idaho back in 2008. It's actually where I met my husband who's a racehorse trainer and let me tell you having easy access to a thousand beautiful thoroughbreds every day is a little overwhelming. I wish I could bring them all home but when this guy became available last July I knew I had to have him. He's been doing really well. He's already good at jumping jump or, jumps around three six and we can do a whole course around three foot. I've been trying to take it slow with him to make sure there aren't any holes in our training so that as we move up the levels, he'll be ready for everything that I ask of him. He's sensitive. He's a little bit of a drama queen sometimes, but overall he's been a really good partner. He's good on the trails, he's fancy in the dressage ring, and most of all he's fun for me to ride every day. This video here mainly features my current off the track thoroughbred prisoner. I have trained many others as well as placing horses off the track in awesome homes. My friends here locally and people across the western states and even back east are riding horses that my husband and I have trained and sold on to new careers. Should I mention that I just got back from a week in Phoenix and he hasn't been ridden the whole time? Gotta love a good OTTB. I'm looking forward to finding my next partner from the racetrack and think this one right here will fit the bill. Hopefully we'll see you in Kentucky.